Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and I hope you're all having a great 2017. I haven't posted a YouTube video in quite some time, so I wanted to get back on track and provide you with a 1CNC XR7 video that I think will be helpful. This is uh, just a quick video, but I wanted to go over some shortcut keys that will help you in regards to manipulating your display. These shortcut keys have been around for quite some time, but I don't think very many people out there are aware of them. Now, the first one I want to point out are the arrow keys. So if you take your arrow key, for example, the left arrow key and hold that down, rotate to the left, hold down the right arrow key, rotate right, up arrow key, rotate up, down arrow key, rotate down. Now the cool thing is if you hold the shift key down on the keyboard and hit the upper arrow key, you're going to be rotating by 90 degrees in the up direction. Down arrow key, rotate 90 in the downwards direction. Left arrow key, rotate 90 uh, in the left direction. And then the right arrow key, hold down the shift key at the same time, you're going to be rotating uh, 90 degrees. So very, very useful. Uh, the ability to be able to use those arrow keys to rotate. Now, of course, you can always use your mouse to rotate. Remember, you can hold the button down on the mouse and easily rotate. You can roll the wheel on the mouse to zoom in and zoom out. And you can also hold the control key down on the keyboard. Uh, treat the wheel on your mouse like a button. Press that wheel down and hold it down and you can pan. So you can do a lot of those common display features with your mouse, but there's just some neat shortcuts available uh, on the keyboard keys. Let me give you a couple other ones. Let's say we wanted to change the view. Well, you know you can do that in one CNC by selecting your different view options. Over here, select view. But you can also hit the space bar on your keyboard. If you hit the space bar on your keyboard, the views menu pops up where your cursor is, which is really handy. So for example, if my cursor was over here to the left, I hit the space bar, my views menu pops up right there. And then for example, you can select any view you want, maybe a trimetric view. And when you do that one, CNC will change the view. So that's very handy. Now, if you want to go to a top view, a lot of times that's called a plan view. You can hit the space bar twice and that will instantly get you to a plan or top view very, very fast. So that's also a very nice feature. Another key I want to point out uh, is the fit key. So if you hit the letter F on your keyboard, that will instantly fit your drawing. It'll zoom it up as big as possible to fit on the screen. And of course, that works in both directions. So if I zoom in, hit the letter F, it'll zoom out to fit everything in there. So that's also a real handy one. Another thing I want to point out is you already know you can use your views menu to select a view. But you can again use keys on your keyboard if you want to. So I'm going to be using a combination of keys here. Let me give you a couple examples. So using a combination of keys, if I hold the control key down, then press the number one, that's going to take me to a top view. If I hold the control key down and press the number two, that's going to take me to a bottom view. Control key down, hit the number three, that's going to take you to a left view. Control key down, hit the number four, that will take you to a right view. Control key down, hit the number five. That's going to take you to a front view. Control key and then press the number six. That's going to take you to a back view. Uh, the one I use a lot is control seven. Hold the control key down, hit the number seven. That's going to give you an isometric view. They also have a trimetric view. So control, then press the number eight. That'll give you a trimetric and hold the control key down and hit the number nine key on your keyboard. And that's going to give you a diametric view. There's a lot more shortcuts available within one CNC, but those are the ones that I use a lot. Hope this has been very helpful. Now remember, uh, if you're in the California area and you're looking at investigating CAD CAM or you're possibly looking to purchase CAD CAM, make sure to give us a call at 909-931-7811. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.